hi guys so welcome back to the channel and then on today's video we're looking at the dxy usd czar aud nzd euro cat euro aud aud usd aud cat and aud chf so i'm just gonna put aud usd also at the top and then let's start with the dxy so as you all know on the previous videos we were looking at the dxy to push to the downside just because we had this double top area and then a descending channel around this point. Then we had another ascending channel around here. So looking at the daily time frame, that is where you'll see each and everything that I was talking about uh, on the previous videos. If you're watching my videos, you will know that uh, what I'm talking about in this section here. So we had the descending channel and then we had the ascending channel. And then it was approaching this mass psychology area whereby we, active, we activated that mass psychology and then we pushed to the downside. So you can see it on the lower time frame. So on the four hour time frame, that is where you'll see that mass psychology activation. Let me just remove this area here. So we had the mass psychology in form of an ascending channel. And then on the hour time frame, you'll see that we had this push to the downside. First tight flag pushed to the downside, expecting the larger flag. And then we pushed to the downside initially. So looking at the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, this is the tight flag that I'm talking about around this point. And then some other people trade like the DXY of which is okay if you want to trade like the DXY, but I don't trade the DXY. As you all know, I just correlate each and everything with the DXY. So as you can see around this point, we had like some type of a larger flag whereby it was very, very complicated as you can see, just like this. And then we had like some gaps within the markets around that point. And then we had like this type of expanding pattern whereby it was trying to approach like this area here, just because others were around this point here. And then we initially pushed to the downside as you can see with this arrow. So now looking at the daily time frame so that we can analyze, reanalyze each and everything together. So let's look at the weekly time frame since the market had closed. So looking at the weekly time frame, I'm seeing this overall ascending channel previously as i said this is the ascending channel that i'm looking at to initially push to the downside those who are not watching my videos up until the end and all of that stuff so we have the ascending and then we have the 90 percent as you can see around this point and then after having the 90 percent we have the overall high here whereby we created that mass psychology activation on the higher time frame of which this is important this is very important and then we have the overall structures within structures of which i can cater for them if you all want and then this is the area whereby it should be catered for this is the middle section and then the reason why i say this is the middle section is because we have the push to the upside the corrective move around this point and then we initially push to the upside so this is the middle section whereby we can just use it. And then we had the ascending channel at the top of the structure of which you can see it on the daily time frame. And then on the daily, we have the ascending channel, as I said previously, of which it was approaching uh, this area whereby it hit like the third touch. And then after that, we after having the ascending channel, we have the overall 90% of which is here around this point. And then as you can see, we are at the 90%. And then as I always say, at the 90%, we create a larger flag whereby this can be the push to the downside, push to the upside, and then we create this type of a larger flag before we push to the downside and then complete the overall move. Or initially what can happen is that since we created the mass psychology activation around this point in form of a descending channel around this area here, just like this, you can clearly see that the mass psychology activation was created and then we push to the upside. I don't know on the lower time frame what will happen. So on the lower time frame, we had that tap around this point in form of that ascending channel previously. So we are around this point at the moment. So what I'm currently thinking is that we can have like the market pushing to the downside up until we reach this point create some type of a double bottom and then rise to the upside. And then after pushing to the upside, then that is where we can just decide if this would be the one that's going to give us like some type of an expanding pattern 
and then removing these ones here, then what you will have is this expanding pattern whereby it will continue to the downside just like this. So this is what I'm expecting on the DXY since everything is still intact, as you can see. So looking at USDZAR, so initially, if we are looking for selling opportunities on USDZAR, on the DXY, sorry, it means that on USDZAR, we're also looking for those selling opportunities just because USD is the code, the code currency and ZAR is the base currency. So as you can see, and then on AUD USD, we are going to look for buying opportunities just because USD is the base currency and then we look for upside. So looking at this, USDs are on the weekly time frame. So on the weekly time frame, what I'm seeing is this high point, and we also have this high point here, whereby we already created that mass psychology activation. As you can see, we pushed to the upside and then we came back correctively, and then we pushed to the upside again. So this can be that mini double top area, whereby this is the ascending channel. And then we can just further refine it on the lower time frame, which is the daily, the hour, the four hour, and so on, guys. So this is the area that we can use. So catering for the current market structure, two touches at the bottom and two touches at the top. So this is the area that we have currently. And then on the lower time frame, you'll see this as an override, just because initially what we look for is for that one, two, and then three, after getting the third touch, then initially we look for those selling opportunities. But if we get like the override of which is the double top, instead of getting the third touch, we get like some type of an override in form of a double top, just like this one here. And then we still look for those selling opportunities. But if we get like an entry around this point, make sure that you move your stop loss to break even soon. And then when it reaches this point, try to manage properly. And then we look for those breaks up until we get like the complete movement on the 90 percent and then these scenarios if they don't happen then it means the market will initially push to the upside and then that means that we get like the third touch and then in form of a one two three again and then we get that mass psychology activation then we push to the up to the downside sorry and then initially that is what i look for in the markets most of the time and then this is a go-to setup whereby this type of setups you must have them like in your uh wild in your top six the pairs that you're looking at uh for the week you must have like these type of setups just because these are setups that play out most of the time guys now so let me just remove this and then looking at the daily time frame so on the daily time frame this is what we have so i'll just make sure that i'm catering for the current market structures two touches at the top as i said and then we have some type of a pattern within a pattern around this point of which it should be catered for so that you know where the market is going or so that you can just understand how the patterns work, guys. So we have the double top area. As you can see, the market reacted very nicely. And then on the lower time frame, what you'll see is that we have some type of a head and shoulders. This is the left shoulder. This is the head. And then this is the right shoulder to initially push to the downside. So, uh, at the moment, I'll just remove this ray line here. And then after removing the ray line, so this is what we have currently. And then what you can do is that you can just use like some type of a tool whereby you just do this. You cater for those touches so that you don't forget, guys. Ne? So that you don't forget. So you have like this type of scenario. And then you expect the third touch. So we are at the double top area, but still you expect a third touch. But initially you have to take like a trade around this point. You have to, guys, you have to, just because it can be like that one that pushes to the downside and then banks around 20% and then you are left out. So looking at the top of the structure at the moment, we have that ascending channel around this area here, guys. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell. And then don't forget to leave a comment and then say whatever you took around uh, with within this market breakdown. Whatever you took as knowledge, you can just share it in the comment section so we have the ascending channel so looking at the ascending channel we are at the top of the structure most importantly we are at the top of the structure we created a double top of which is very important just because it's a reversal pattern to the downside and then a double bottom is a reversal pattern to the upside so looking at the ascending 
Also, it's a reversal pattern to the downside. So we have the ascending channel in form of a head and shoulders pattern, as you can see. And then head and shoulders pattern also, it's a reversal pattern to the downside, of which uh, scenarios are stacked within our favor. And then we have the head and shoulders, and then we have this area here, of which this was a pattern on its own, of which you have to separate like patterns all the time, just because you'll be caught up in something that you don't know, guys. So pattern separating is very important. And then knowing your zones, where to buy, where to sell, it's very important also. So looking at this area here, what I'm thinking is that we can have a larger flag. Reason being that we have this 90% also has been, been tapped. Just because this is a pattern on its own, as I said. So the 90% for this pattern is also very important. The same as the other ones. So you have, you have to make sure that you cater for it also. So... What you can do is that you expect a larger flag around this point, around this area here. Already it's trying to form up, as you can see here. It's trying to form up. But what you can do is that you can wait for something of this nature, whereby this area can be catered for, and then this can be some type of an ascending channel also. I don't know if the market will just react to this, or we can get like something of this nature whereby we create some type of a an expanding. And then after creating that expanding pattern of which is like this, then that is when we can look for those selling opportunities. You see what I did right there? We have this area here as our overall POI, guys, point of value, whereby the market will just initially push to the downside just because we have a double top. And then we have the expanding pattern. Let's say, for example, uh, you get like the third touch within this area here, like this uh, one and then two and then initially the third touch to initially push to the downside. And then remember, we are correlating the D, we are correlating USDR with the DXY. So that's very important. And then uh, uh, let me not waste time, but let me just give you another scenario so that you can just understand. And then comment below, guys, if uh, dropping like different scenarios is good for you guys or it's not. And then the, the other scenario would be getting like the market pushing to the upside in this type of fashion, structurally. And then after tapping this area of which is the third touch, then that is when you can look for a risk entry with an evening with an evening star or a an engulfing candlestick pattern. And then let's say you have like your stop loss just above this point here for about 20 pips. And then you're looking for those selling opportunities up until the overall third touch, of which is at around 20%. And then looking at the overall target, let me switch to the four hour. And then on the four hour time frame, we can just anticipate the overall target being 26%. And then back to the hour time frame, looking at the scenario here, it totally means that we have some type of an ascending channel. And then if you don't like risk entries at the top of the structure, just because some of us are different, we don't like uh, risk, we can use like the first tight flag of which is around this area. As I said, six to eight hours, guys, make sure that you are using this as your entry target. And then this is the area. And then your entry should be just below here, a few pips below. And then your stop can be just above for 26 pips, of which is okay also. And then the overall target should be at around 20, 18% of which is okay. And then the first target is at around 7.45%. And then, yeah, USDs are still okay. I like the setup so far. Then uh, you can just comment below if you are looking forward to getting like into this uh, nice setup. I don't know where, maybe here. Or maybe here, depending on the, what the market will do, and then looking at AUD USD, and then as you all as you all know, guys, I analyze each and everything, but I'll just remove it. I make sure that I'm prepared when I'm coming to you guys. I make sure that I do everything proper. So looking at the overall market structure on the weekly time frame, you can see that we're pushing to the downside. We have created a double top, and then you can see that we have been. Pushing to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside, corrective move, 
push to the downside, corrective move, and then we had the push to the downside. So initially on this one, we expect continuations to the downside just because already the direction has been confirmed by a lot of things. And then we also have this double top area here. And then guys, make sure that you like my videos, make, make sure that you share them so that we can reach like a lot of uh, subscribers. I'm aiming for a million subscribers, guys. <laughs> so uh, looking at the weekly time frame, this is the double top that we have. And then we have some type of an ascending channel around at this point for us to initially reach the lows of which is here. And then another scenario that I'm seeing is that we have this week creation of which the market will just always fill the week creations just because it means that there are others around this point. So looking at the daily time frame, we have an ascending channel around this point. And guys, uh, I don't think, I think if I'm talking like too fast, some of you don't understand me. Just tell me in the comment section if I'm talking too fast or I'm talking okay at a good pace. So the double top, let me just remove that. And then we have this here as our overall 90%. So initially you can see that the trade has been pushing to the downside very nicely. The mass psychology has been activated. We have the ascending channel within the ascending channel. As you can see around this point, this is an ascending channel within an ascending on the lower time frames. And then uh, looking at the overall structures, we are pushing nicely. We have the push down, corrective move, push to the downside, corrective move. Initially on this one, we expect more sales up until the 90%. So uh, let's look at the four hour. So on the four hour time frame, this is the ascending channel that I was talking about. Uh, and then it goes with experience guys, just because I have been doing this for quite a long time. I've already, I already know my way around the strategy that I'm trading around here or the strategy that I'm showing you here. So looking at the overall 90% of which is here, and then we have this area here also, and then as you can see, the ascending channel has been broken around this point, as you can see. And then we had some type of a double top formation around this area here. This area here, we created some type of a double top. You can just use like a marker just like this. And then we have the double top creation. And then we had this nice push to the downside. So this is a corrective move. The first tight flag, guys, of which this is a nice setup. I hope it works out. But as you all know, in the markets, we don't use hope. We use skill, guys. The way that I'm analyzing at the moment, that's called skill. So this is the ascending channel that I'm talking about. And then as you can see, we have three touches at the top and three touches at the bottom. So this is the first touch. This is an EMS, but we can call it a second touch. And then this is the third touch. And then we initially push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside corrective move so initially this is the first tight flag of which it's a clean tight flag that we can use and then the criteria for our tight flag is six to eight hours already you can see that we have surpassed the six to eight hours around this point and then the flat flag as i always say so this is a very steep flag whereby if you get like this type of formation it means that a larger flag is coming around this area here let's say uh 5% of the time or five or 6% or of the time, uh, it works out nicely, but like most of the time it doesn't work out just because when it's like this, you take a cell just around, just around this point and then you're targeting this as your first target, the 90% all the time, 1.85%. So you can be able to manage this trade. You can be able to move to break even when you reach like the 1.85%. And then looking at the overall target of which is at around 18%. So back to the scenario that I was talking about, guys. When the when a tight flag is like this, it usually means that it will just tag you in and then initially tag you out and then create some type of a larger flag before pushing to the downside. So be careful when you take this trade. I'm also careful just because I anticipated where I'm going to manage the trade. So initially, if I take this trade and then my stop loss can be at around 27 pips and then the target would be at around 1.85 or 1.88%, then I can move my stop loss to break even. And then if it works out, 
and let me hit the overall target, then it's cool. But if we create a larger flag, then I'll be tagged out at break even, of which is okay, just because I can recalculate and then uh, enter a new setup. So this is where uh, AUD USD is at. And then looking at AUD and the D, let me just refresh. So on the weekly time frame. So on AUD and the D, you can see that we had this area here. And then we had this area here as the low. So initially, what I'm expecting is for the market to clearly push to the downside from here up to here. So we are looking at a continuation path. We're looking at a continuation trade now. So this is the ascending channel. And then I'll just refine it on the lower time frame, guys. Now, and then if you have a question, you can just ask in in the comment section, and then I'll gladly respond, guys. Now, so we have the ascending channel here, and then we have the ninety percent here. Okay, so after having that ninety percent on the daily time frame, that is where each and everything will just come together, just because we had the push to the downside, of which is nice push to the downside corrective move in form of an ascending channel and then reaching the double top area of which is very important in form of a mass psychology activation as you can see we have some weeks that push to the upside a little and then we have the nice ascending channel of which is around this point here and then after having the nice ascending channel we also have the 90 percent for it just because this can be our first target Second target could be this one here, of which is the overall ascending channel that we had previously. And then we are targeting the lows, as you all know. These are the lows whereby we can get like a new trade whereby it will just give us like that mass psychology activation and then push to the upside. So looking at the four hour time frame. So on the four hour time frame, what we have, we have that same scenario that I was talking about on AUD USD, whereby you get a nice tight flag. And then after having the nice tight flag, you get tagged in and then you get tagged out and then you create a larger flag. So that is what we're looking at. As I said in the beginning of this session is that you must always know where you are in when the market is uh, moving. So as you can see around this point, we have like those scenarios here. And then we have this ascending or an expanding pattern. And then an expanding pattern can go both ways, guys. It can go to the upside and it can go to the downside. There is no significant way where the uh, expanding pattern will go. It just follows the direction. If we're selling, it will sell with you. If we're buying, it will buy with you. So looking at this area, we have the double top. Let me just remove that. It seems very dark. So we had the double top and then after having the double top formation, we clearly pushed to the downside. Reason being, we had this ascending channel within here. So as you can see, this is the ascending channel. And then once you see it, you can't unsee you guys. So looking at this area here, this is uh, where we are at at the moment. So what I'm currently thinking is that we can initially push to the downside because of this larger smaller version of this area of this tight flag here and then clearly push to the downside the reason being if you try and look at it on the 15 minute or the 30 minute you'll see that we have like some type of an ascending channel and then when it reaches like the top of the structure it will just create some type of an override as you can see around this point we have created an override and then we are trying to create like that engulfing candlestick that I always talk about and then we have like some type of a small ascending channel within there just like this and then what I'd like to see is for the market to clearly break structures so you can just place yourself just below and then your stop can be just above this area you target this point and then after targeting this point we know that we are targeting the lows of which it's around this point for about five five percent and then going back to the higher time frames we know that we are targeting the overall lows of which they will give us like a new trade setup to the upside. So there's an overall trade for about 13%. And then the other scenario is whereby we can just refine each and everything to this point here. And then after refining to this point here, you'll notice that the expanding pattern is still there. And then we have two touches at the top. And then after having two touches at the top, we have two touches at the bottom. 
which initially means that we can clearly push to the upside, reach this area, create the first touch, second touch, then we have the third touch to initially sell off from there. So this is the scenario that I'm looking at. Two scenarios that I'm looking at, the first one of which is this one, and then the second one of which is at the top of the structure. So this is AUD and ZB for you. And then let's look at EuroCAD. So EuroCAD already analyzed, as you all know. So looking at the weekly time frame, start on the weekly. So on the weekly time frame, what I'm seeing is that we have been pushing to the downside. As you can see, we have the push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside. So initially what I'm thinking, guys, is that we have to sell off no matter what. We have to sell off just because we had the, like this double bottom and then we still have like the slow point of which it has to be tapped. So looking at the overall structures, we broke this area in form of a mass psychology activation. We have this point also of which if the market does not activate from this point whereby it should sell off, then we can look forward to seeing this area here. And then if that does not work out, then we can look forward to seeing this area here, what it has in store for us, this area here. So currently we have two areas and then I'm just going to focus on those two areas so far up until we break structures. So looking at the daily time frame, what you'll see is that we are at the top of the structure initially. So at the top of the structure, what I can do is that I can just draw out like the overall ascending channel that we have around this point. Remember what I said, an ascending channel is a reversal pattern to the downside. So make sure that you are in the right track, you are in the right trade. And then what you can see on the daily time frame is that we had like this candlestick confirmation around this point, of which is very important, guys. This is an engulfing candlestick pattern on the higher time frame, of which it shows a sign that we will sell off very nicely. So looking at the four hour time frame, what I'm seeing is that we have a large ascending channel, just like this. And then after having that large ascending channel, we have an ascending within an ascending. So what I'll do is that I'll just remove this, make sure that I push out my trend lines. Reason being, we have two touches at the top. The first touch, the second touch. Initially, we can have the third touch in line with that high time frame, mass psychology activation area of which this was my last point. The second, the first point was this one of which it was already activated. And then the second point is this one here. So uh, what I'll do is that I'll just switch back to the lower time frame. And then on the lower time frame, what I'm seeing is that we have created some type of an ascending channel, and then we're just reacting to it at the moment. So focusing on this current market structure, which is this one here, this one, just like this. So this is what we have currently on EuroCAD. So this is a scenario. And then we also had like the first tight leg, which is this one, and then we initially pushed to the downside. So what I'd like to see is a larger flag forming up so it can just form up around this point. We already have like this type of double bottom. And then we can just have like price action moving in this type of fashion. Then this is what I'd like to see for me to be in this trade here. This is what I'd like to see. For example, let's say we are in line with this double top formation. This is what I'd like to see most of the time. This is in my plans, guys. If I trade like this uh, strategy, this is what I'd like to see. And then we sell off from here up until the overall targets. Looking at the higher time frame. So let's say we sell off from this point and then stop loss can be just above this area. And then the lows, as you all know, for about 16%. And then if that does not work out, we look for the same scenario at the top of the structure. And then we target the same areas of which is the 90%, guys. And then for this scenario, the 90% should be this area here. And then looking at the lows, we have 22% using an 11 pip stop, of which we can just move it up for about 20 pips, which is okay. And then we have a 12% trade. And then what I'd like to see also is that we can just wait for a clear push to the downside. And then the first tight flag would be okay for us to take like the trade at the top of the structure in form of the first tight flag. So looking at Euro AUD, 
So on Euro AUD on the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame. So let me just remove everything. So on the weekly time frame, what I'm seeing is that we have this low point here. Then we have this also. This also here. And then we have the lower low of which is here in form of a double bottom, as you can see. So we have an ascending channel also of which it should be catered for. This is the higher time frame structures, as you can see here. And then what I'm looking forward to seeing is for the market to clearly push to the downside. As you can see, we are just following the order flow of the market. We have been creating lower lows and lower highs, as you can see around this a setup. So on the daily time frame, we have a clear double bottom, double top, as you can see. Sorry about that. And then at the top of the structure, this is what we are looking forward to seeing. And then we have two touches at the top, first touch, second touch. We didn't hit the third touch. So we have two touches at the bottom also, of which we expect the third touch initially. So looking at the four hour time frame, on the four hour time frame, we had like some type of a double top or a override pattern. As you can see here, we had like some type of a double top formation whereby it created the mass psychology activation that we would like to see all the time. So as you can see here, double top formation in form of the mass psychology activation. And then we have the ascending channel. And then what I would like to do is that I'll just cater for this area here whereby the market closed off. And then this is the area that we have. And then on the lower time frame, that is where I'll just explain each and every entry that I'm looking forward to seeing. So we moved to the upside very structurally, as you can see here. Sorry about that. So what I'm thinking at the moment is that just because you have to think, guys, when you when you're trading, you have to think. You draw. You don't have to just draw lines and then expect the market to react from them. You have to make sure that you're thinking. So this is the area that we have. So what I'm thinking is that we just have to hit like the third touch, and then after hitting the third touch, then we sell off, and then I'll be expecting to see a candlestick confirmation whereby I'll be looking for selling opportunities around this point here for about 45 pips and then your target first target is at around 10 percent second target of which it should be the third touch most of the time for about 15 and then the overall target of which is that 90 percent it should be around here for about 44 percent so these are all the setups that i'm going to share uh for today's market breakdown and then I left out AUD CAD and AUD CHF guys just because I know some of you don't watch up until the end if you watch up until the end you can just comment drop a comment and say that you watch up until the end and then I'll see you on another video my voice is already scratchy and then yeah have a great week guys make some pips then yeah I'll see you